The Husky's wing is phenomenal for a bush plane. We have slotted semi fowler flaps. 60% of the wingspan is flap. As a result, in different flap settings, we have not only lift, we also have drag. Unique to the Husky is the lift component. Most airplanes have flaps which are essentially producing drag. So in different aspects of the flight, we can optimize takeoff, cruise, or landing configurations by using these flap settings. We have a constant speed mass, aero mass balanced aileron. So the ailerons act actually work like uh, uh, vortex generators. They're accelerating the air over the surface and as a result you have a uniform control stick input and a uniform reaction through a 60 mile to 100 mile an hour speed range. So I call these ailerons constant speed ailerons. They're light, they're responsive, and because they're so aerodynamically efficient they produce less adverse yaw. So only light foot pressures are needed on the rudder to maintain essentially uh, controlled flight uh, uh, movements. Uh, so if you, if you did not have these ailerons and you made a left bank, you would see the ball move out of the center all the way to the right. And you'd have to put in a large right, uh, left rudder, right rudder input to, to bring that ball and get coordinated flight back. On the Husky, it's a light foot pressure to maintain that ball in the center. Now, the adverse yaw is greatly reduced compared to most stick and rudder airplanes. 